Hi, this is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing with our weight loss vlog. Today, we are going to cover what to do when you hit a plateau, because I know a lot of you are, you do very well starting out and then um, hit what the everybody knows is the horrible plateau. And I'm going to tell you that there are a lot of things to do to get past it and get through it. And the most important thing is not to let it discourage you. So we're going to go step by step what to do when you plateau. Um, the first thing to understand is that your expectations for rate of weight loss need to be a little bit more measured. A lot of comments out there talk about like large amounts of weight loss over uh, the first month and remember that particularly in the first week most of the weight that you lose especially if you're doing kind of a high protein low carbohydrate diet is going to be water weight so that's why um, you know um, uh, a lot of weight loss plans will guarantee that you'll lose five pounds in a week well five, five pounds in a week is just fluid you can't lose five pounds of fat in a week it would be you'd have to eat zero so um, so you can't kind of expect right that that's going to continue because otherwise you'd get dehydrated so um, as the weight comes off your expectation should be one pound a week don't expect more than that. If you get more than that, that's great. But keep your expectation to one pound a week. And look, over the long term, over a year, that's great. That's 50 pounds, right? So, but if you keep your expectation appropriate, then you aren't going to get as frustrated and disappointed. So let's go over the things very important to realize. As you lose weight, right, the amount of calories that you burn for the same level of exertion goes down and think about it this makes sense right because let's say you're um, a five foot nothing person and you weigh 200 pounds well the if you lose 20 pounds that's like you just took you know 20 pounds off of you and you now you're not having to work as hard to move yourself around um, doing the same amount of activity during the day so you either have to ramp up your activity to get the same amount of calorie burn for whatever you were doing and a very easy way to do that is to actually add weights to yourself while you're exercising or walking around they have weighted vests that you can get at um, a lot of the fitness stores or online and that's a very easy way to artificially add weight back to increase your calorie burn during the day and the other thing is that quite often your metabolic rate will slow a little bit as the weight comes off and as you drop your calorie count. Why? Because your body is sensing that you've cut your calories back and it is now kind of being a little bit more protective about what it burns. But you can overcome this by adding back more weights. So the other thing that a lot of people are doing is um, getting uh, focused only on the number on the scale which is very important don't get me wrong but you may want to have somebody check your body composition if you're one of these people that's really working out hard and I mean really hard so you know um, heavy resistance work four times a week you're sore you're hurting but your scale isn't going down but your clothes might be fitting better don't get frustrated. See if you have somebody at like your local YMCA or fitness center who can check your body composition because they can usually tell you with some reliability whether or not your body composition is changing so that it's more muscle and less uh, fat or adipose tissue than it was before and you can kind of track that over time. So why is this important? Because muscle as we all know, weighs more than fat. And so if you're really toning but and your clothes are fitting better but your scale is staying the same, definitely don't get frustrated. You're doing great. You want to keep that up because the more muscle mass you build, the higher your metabolic rate because it costs a lot more to maintain muscle than it does to maintain fat. Okay? So here's my board again. So check your body composition. And then recalculate your calories. So if you're using the MyFitnessPal app um, or whatever you use to calculate your calorie requirements during the day to lose a pound a week, as your weight drops, that calculation also drops. So again, this all is probably frustrating, right? Because it seems like it's all working against you. But trust me, if you just kind of recalibrate and recalibrate, you'll get to, you'll keep succeeding, okay? So add weights, we already did that. Change your medicine. 
So, um, and I know some physicians are very um, uh, being very sticklers about the three month FDA rule on the phentermine. Again, that's for plain phentermine. Um, phentermine in combination with topiramate has been approved by the FDA for long term use. So, whether or not you can kind of convince your provider to add topiramate and in that combination or right for Qsimia keep you on weight loss medication for longer, that's one option. You can add different diabetes medicines if you have diabetes, presuming you have diabetes, that um, do help with weight loss. Some of the ones that make you pass sugar or glucose through your urine do have some weight loss effects. Um, some of the ones that are injectable like Victoza has some, um, is FDA approved at higher doses um, under the name Saxenda for weight loss. You can do that. So change your medications. Have your physician change it up. The other thing that some people uh, can do is if you were taking your phentermine with your breakfast, um, some people uh, really find that the Efficacy is markedly increased if you take it on an empty stomach, and as long as you don't get side effects, go ahead and try that. So, um, and keep weighing yourself. If there's one thing I can't emphasize enough, it's don't let it disrupt or dissuade you from continuing because listen you only want to do this once you only want to do this once and then stay there you don't want to yo-yo because if you yo-yo it'll be worse you're building good habits for the rest of your life and don't let it um you know get you off track so make the adjustments and then kind of have, be patient a little bit. Your body's going to have to readjust. You're going to recalculate your calories. You're going to add some weight. You, you can increase your resistance work. You can change your medications. You can change the dose or change the timing. And then see. And again, shoot for one pound a week. And if you're really doing heavy muscle training, uh, then have somebody check your body composition because you may still be uh, getting rid of body fat and just building muscle mass and that's weighing more on your scale. Okay, so great questions. You guys are all doing so well and um, uh, keep up the good work and um, thank you.